There's also been a, a group, the um, Center for Strategic Information Systems, I think it was CSIS. They did, uh, you know, basically how skilled are our, our workforces, and they basically said if if your development team doesn't know about the top 25, which I haven't told you about yet, um, then they shouldn't be working on your your software. Um, but the top 25 is basically a list of this, um, the real main issues in software that can uh, make your system do things you didn't intend. This is a poster that SANS put out, and uh, the ones in orange um, are the top 25. So I've thrown a bunch of terms out at you, and let me just kind of circle back to what they are. So weaknesses are things that could be a problem in the right conditions. Those right conditions are what make them a vulnerability. Um, so in the uh, cybersecurity world, CVE is used to give IDs to publicly known vulnerabilities. Um, so those are things that have been reported and they're in open source or commercial packages. And a zero day is basically just a latent vulnerability that somebody's found and started exploiting before there's a patch. Um, so vulnerabilities are out there. Just like any defect in any product, there are latent defects, whether you know about them or not. It's just they're all man-made, right? Um, so we're at 72,000, but we're increasing about 120 a week. Seems to be about the average. The weaknesses, we have CWEs. So these are things that we know about that can lead to CVEs, to vulnerabilities. Um, there probably are weaknesses that we haven't gotten our hands around. So uh, these are community efforts. So if you know of weaknesses, please um, help us. And there's only about 700 of those. So, um, and depending on which language you're using or what kind of architecture, uh, what kind of systems you're building, there's lots of weaknesses you can actually, you know, not pay attention to. And then the idea of an exploit. You know, weaknesses only become an issue if there's a way to make them, make your system do things you didn't intend. Um, and so there's also the common attack pattern is a way of characterizing those exploits. So I think that's the bottom line of it. <clears throat> so another part of this is, well, how do I focus on the things that are more important? How do I, you know, I've got all these issues. So uh, I'd like to borrow an example or, or walk you through an example. So CVE came out and later in the next year, so we came out in 1999, in 2000, SANS started to have a discussion uh, about which of those publicly known vulnerabilities is most important. And there was a lot of discussions, emails back and forth about why this one's more important or that one. And so they came out and uh, did it again, only now they said, well, which one's on the PC versus Unix? And um, all that work actually uh, uh, came into the Common Vulnerability Scoring System. So basically, once we had a list of vulnerabilities that we all agreed which one was which, we could actually start picking out what kind of attributes made one more important, more dangerous, or not. And then CVSS, as a metric, captured those conditions. So is how hard is it to attack? How easy is it? How dangerous is it? You know, I can actually take over the machine versus I can change data versus, you know, so there's that whole discussion uh, came about at once we actually knew we were talking about the same issue. So in, if you haven't uh, seen CVSS before, there's basically a base metric, which is the vulnerability. Basically, this thing allows certain things to happen. It has a certain downside. Um, then there's a temporal part, which is basically the environment how easy, uh, every other email that comes by has an exploit for that vulnerability versus no one knows how to exploit it. Um, 
And then the environmental metric is what is your organization's uh, posture on this vulnerability? You've patched them all, you blocked it at the firewall, or something like that. So this allows you to have a repeatable way of measuring how dangerous this is to your enterprise and lets you have a consistent way across your organization or across organizations for figuring out how bad something is. Now, even a two or a three on a scale of zero to 10 may eventually be a problem. So it's not saying, you know, don't address things that have a CVSS score of five. Heartbleed, by the way, had a five. But Heartbleed on a client piece of software is one thing. Heartbleed on the server is actually probably a 10 or 12. So, um, you know, the metrics are meant to help. They're not the panacea. Uh, 